Brian wakes up late to pick up his wife from work. She leaves very late and can't come back home alone because it's too dangerous, so he rushes out of the house to find her. But things start to get really weird. The truth will be revealed. Welcome everyone to a new adventure in Truth Loop. My name is Pecan. This is a game that said it was extremely bizarre and might have some weird images. I love weird images, so, so let's get into this. But this game did really give a warning, so it might be disturbing for some people, so please be warned. 616 Games presents. Ooh, this looks well made. I like it. Whoa. This feels like a 70s, like 80s crime. Ooh. But we're about to go solve a murder. Except we're actually just going to pick up our wife from work. I don't know how this could take a turn for the weird. It looks like a nice night, you know? Peaceful, calming. Pecan will regret that decision. But he did say, this <sighs> whoa, has like a looping feature. What, what were we dreaming of? Were we doing sprints, running a, a triathlon in our dreams? We woke up out of breath. Whoa, man, crap. I'm late to pick up Madison. She left for work at one hour ago. Uh-oh. Well, she's gonna be mad. She's gonna be mad. Uh, should I just leave? Should I just leave? Nice apartment. Weird glass pane. Oh, nice place. What is this picture? Why do we have a picture of Freddy? What is, what is going on? Why is, who is that in our bedroom? I'm so confused. Okay, I should probably stop checking out my apartment. My wife is walking home late at night. Home. Look, look. I, I'm having trouble speaking right now. I, I just got to go save my wife. My wife is in danger. I need to go save her. Is that Batman or is that a water tower? I can't tell. I'm, I'm going to go save you, Madison. My my wife. I'm going to go save my wife. Nobody's... I, I'm going to... Oh, oh, I promised her that I'd pick her up on time. It's dangerous to go back alone. Uh, That's probably not foreshadowing anything. Nah, that's definitely... Probably nothing. Oh, huh. I hope that uh, you are well, my love. I promise not to delay anymore. Do I gotta take the bus with this lumberjack dude? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Uh, you look very happy. You don't mind if I just stand here? All right, you're weird. I'm just gonna keep walking. I don't. You don't want to mess with people late at night, okay? Don't. Also, just don't mess with people in general. You know, leave people alone. They're minding their business. That person was minding their business, okay? I was being the weird one coming up to them and getting into their space. I don't know where my wife is, to be honest. I'm kind of just... Well, wrong way. Okay, never mind. I do... I have a, a sixth sense, okay? I'm like Spider-Man, but my spice... Hello? <laughs> my spidey sense is actually just knowing when my wife is in danger. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, my love. What? Dude, the apartment looks like, uh... trashed. It looks like disheveled what is going on like it looks significantly worse after just one I'm late to pick up Madison from work did the clock change time at all I can't tell a lot of bottles man you need to get some help also the trash oh my goodness wait this is just open now take an umbrella why do I Thank you for the umbrella. I don't know why I have that, but I have it now. I've got the feeling that Madison's been dead for a while, and it's because we overslept one night, and she got murdered on the street. And Is it snowing or raining? I can't tell. And she got murdered because we overslept and weren't there for her, and we blame ourselves, and now we're in this perpetual loop of trauma and regret and grief over our wife. And maybe I'm just looking too far into it, but that's my prediction. That her wife's already dead. What the dog doing? Hey, hey, what are you doing in the street? Uh, all right. That normal stuff. Normal stuff. I'm not. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to find my wife. Okay. I'm sorry, my love. Always. I always hesitate with you. What does that mean? What does that mean? You always hesitate. What does it mean? I'm. I'm a little confused, to be honest. Um. But yeah, I, I, I think that our wife is dead and we are grieving and stuck in a loop over her death because we could never really get over it. Madison? Wife? 
My wife. Madison, something happened. Why are there so many flies around her? And the police? <sighs> Dude, okay. I didn't think the apartment could get worse. Um, definitely did take a bit of a turn there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the bottles and the trash was one thing, but that's like, a, you're not getting your deposit back from this apartment. I'm really late. Madison been out of work for over, how how long? All right, the time's still the same. Is there anything else different in the apartment? Can I open anything? Is there an umbrella here? Hello? Anything else in here? No? That door's still locked. That makes me uncomfortable. Is this? Is it? Is this a meatloaf or a body? I can't tell. Is that somebody's torso? Strung up in my living room? Halloween's not for a while, so I don't know if that's a decoration. That might be. Are we in Silent Hill? What's with the smoke? Hello. It seems a lot more quiet. Uh huh. What? That's, uh, okay, um, meatloaf car. Yep, that's, uh, it's just normal cars. Oh no, it's meatloaf, man! What's wrong with you, buddy? Are you okay? I mean, he still looks happy, so. I'm a piece of, I can't keep my promise. Hey, hey now, hey now. You don't, you don't know that? Not everything's your fault? Maybe, I don't know. I actually don't know the context. It could be your fault. You know, you could be a bad person. I'm not sure. Madison, you okay? Why are all the cars made out of meat? You took so long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do I call the landlord about the blood? Or like, who who deals with that? Is that my... Is that is that my problem? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Things are getting a little bit... Uh, <laughs> It's already midnight? Huh. Okay. Gotta pick up Madison. Oh, it's an umbrella. Okay. Let's go. Did something definitely happen because we weren't... I much prefer when it's raining men and not blood. I mean, this could be the blood of men, but I prefer just the men, not the not the blood. I mean, I want the men to have blood in them because not, if if they don't, then they would just be dead. But but not just the blood. You know. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking and just keep walking. Why is it raining blood? It's everywhere, dude. It is everywhere. What if I happens to get hit by a car? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that was. Uh, hope you're well, my love. Yeah, I just got hit by a car. Uh <laughs> Gotta keep going. Okay. My my wife needs me. I'm not gonna leave my wife. I need to help her. I need to save her. There she is. My wife. My love. How are you? What? What is that? Excuse me? Oh, is that a giant? Is that a giant Ma Madison spider? My wife was a giant spider creature. I don't... Is that... Is that like when, when you're partner asks like would you still love me if I was a worm would you still love her if she was a giant spider I'm too late to pick her up for work what well the apartment's back to normal there's no umbrella okay well let's go Madison my life my wife my love my wife my life my love it's already midnight I hope she's okay I'm sure she'll be fine I'm sure everything will be fine. Everything will be okay. I'm trash. She deserves somebody better. Man, then be that better person. Make the change. Be better for her. I swear I'll never drink again. I guess that's why there are all the bottles. What's going on? Where's all the cars? There were no cars. Madison? Who's having on? Hello? What? Madison? Please don't shoot! No, she just shot me! Did she just shoot me? D is the blood mine? Did she shoot me? <laughs> My wife shot me. What? I hesitated. Madison must have been waiting for me for over an hour. 
All right. I, I don't know how to explain that last one. I don't know why she shot me. This relationship is getting weird. Madison left for work, uh, one o'clock. I hope she's okay. What's with all the clinking? Hello? Hey, there goes a naked guy. Oh, he's a meat man. Hey, meat man, yeah. Watch out, there's a car, meat man. Hey, buddy, how's it going? See you, Charles. If something happens to her, I will never forgive myself. It seems like something happened to her, and we have not forgiven ourselves. Madison, are you okay? Are you alright? We, we, where is she? No. No. My wife? Oh. Oh. Is this Minecraft? Am I mining for diamonds? Am I at bedrock? You are trash. Fair? That's fair. I mean, everyone can do some. You drunk. You will suffer for all eternity. So my drinking made me oversleep to go pick up my wife from work. And because of that, something happened to her. And now we're stuck in this perpetual s state. What? Madison. Hey, honey. Huh. Won't you pick me up from work, my love? Ah! Dude. Dude. Oh my goodness. That was so sad. That was horrible. I, I cannot fathom dealing with the loss of a loved one, especially when it was in a situation like this. How do you, how do you forgive yourself? How do you move on from that? I don't know. I don't know if I would be able to. I guess you just got to know that your, your partner wouldn't want you to to be blaming yourself forever and ever and just never being able to move on, I guess. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go tell Taylor that I love her. Oh, this is so sad. This is really well done though. Let me know what you thought about this game down in the comments. What do you think happened? I think my theory was correct, but let me know what you think about it. Either way, thank you all for joining me in today's adventure in Truth Loop. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more. Of course, hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember with courage and determination, any adventure is possible. And I hope to see you on our next one. Bye-bye.